Uh, what are some of the? I mean, you've done songs before, and you've done musical expansive things before. So, what are some of the uh, differences in doing a four part versus you know one? <laughs> Well, um, it wasn't even the four part that made this process different. It was more just the, um, how much music went into this one. You know, like where most of our episodes will have one song. And they kick you in the butt right in the butt. This one's a number, I'm not sure, but it's got 10 songs on it. So, you know, like there's a lot of music going on in this one. So uh, it, was just, it was just bigger. So we just went all out. It's cool. How long did it take you to get the episode down? Is it, is it done now? How long did it take you from from that episode compared to other episodes? Is part of the question. Well, that would probably be a question for our line producer. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> to us, that part of it's magic. Yeah. Oh, really? We keep working, and she tells us when we need to start handing stuff over. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm like, hold on, five more months. She's like, no, you're done. <laughs> okay, mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in this one... Surprisingly, again, because she's incredible at her job. Yeah. Um, we did it in the same time we do all our episodes. Yeah. We just put more bodies in. Wow. Yeah. You know, so we just we just needed a lot more resources. What was it like uh, working with Ball and Boy? Awesome. Awesome. They were super nice, man. And they were super into it. You know, so, uh, they, they probably had way more fun than we did. <laughs> I mean, it was cool for us, but they were just like, well, we're going to be in a cartoon. Like, it was cool. You know, and even when after we did their designs, we sent it to them, and it's like, no notes. They were like, I love it. And you're like, great. <laughs> I think somebody just wanted more tattoos or something. It was cool. And uh, uh, CeeLo Green as well. How was that? He was awesome, too. Yeah. Seriously, man. Like, everybody came in. It was super duper nice. You know, yeah, Zero. we never know like if no. people are gonna come in. If you haven't worked with them yet, if they're gonna have an attitude, or yeah, just no. if we're not even gonna get along on some weird level or whatever. Yeah. But super chill and super nice and down to just. Yeah, like, he came in with his lady and his cute little dog. Yeah, the dog made it. Yeah. The dog made it in the episode. He was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we were like. It was cool, man. Again, CeeLo was just like, whatever you guys want. You know, so. Yeah, I know, because he had to sing the songs a cappella, and I was like, is he going to do this? Like, is yeah. he going to be like, I'm going to sing a song for you right now, dude? Yeah. Oh, he was down. Yeah, it was cool. And you guys, you know, you guys are working together a lot, the, uh, the cafe. Um, are there any, like, um, difficulties scheduling now with Gary's Walking Dead uh, schedule? Is there any uh, classes with that at all? Oh, you're looking for some shirt right now. No, no, I'm just going to lay like that. Yes, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's been good. It's been uh, yeah. Kari's been out a lot on the walk and get tour, but uh, but most of the cast still gets together, and, uh, and the magic stays alive. <laughs> You're mentioning that Seal's dog made it into the episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, how much lead away is there for animation and problem then? Since you know, you have a certain plan when you go in there, and a lot can change because you do have everybody in the room. Yeah, a lot changes in storyboards. Yeah. You know, when we go in there, like, um, when we played out that scene, the dog wasn't ever in it, you know? And we were like, man, the scene wasn't playing. Like, scene was just in a room by himself. And I was like, listen, he's got that adorable dog, let's put the dog in. And not, let's not just put the dog in, let's have the dog sing with him at some point, you know? Like, so, uh, he almost stole the show, you know? Like, it was, uh, so, to answer your question, it's, it's in the storyboard phase, uh, things are constantly changing until we uh, find the right, you know, the right spot. What defines success for the show? When you think about it, when I, is, there, is there one thing that defines success or is it a magnitude of things? What's, what's it's a bunch of stuff. To me, man, again, um, I mean, Aaron's been on it from the beginning, beginning. I came in a few months after. A few after. months after. <laughs> and you found the but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> but for real, man, honestly, at, at this point and even from the beginning, uh, was trust. Uh, there was zero ego in the room. Um, and there could be a lot in this industry. Yeah. Um, everything's left at that door, and everybody genuinely just wants to <laughs> make the best product ever. Yeah. You know, like these guys, you know, Aaron and Michael as writers, they, once they hand that script over to us, they're like, do your thing. Just make it funny. You know, like, just don't, don't do that. <laughs> just don't go lateral with it. You know, like, make it funnier. And, um, we've got an incredible crew. An incredible crew that genuinely, they're fans of the show. Yeah. So. It's it's honestly to me, and, and we've been doing this for a while. It's magic. What happened 
with that that right crew came together and all the right personalities. Uh, that's that's what you see on the screen. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, that's sweet. But for me, it's like money. <laughs> <laughs> Money. He said money. 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 There's that part too. Success. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how I quantify it. Yeah. <laughs> and our Emmy nomination too. Don't forget to talk about that. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. That's some hard work. We we earned that. Um, in the Night Begins to Shine episode, um, it kind of goes between like where they're regularly at and this really incredible like 80s-ish alternate universe. How much fun did you have putting together those epic fight scenes in the cartoon? Uh, that was that was a lot of fun. We had um, we had to pull back a, like a little bit because we wanted to like. We wanted to go all out. And it looks like we did, but we had ideas that were even crazier. We were like, all right, let's just tone this back where we actually have to ship this thing. <laughs> but again, being like kids of the 80s, man, like, I was like, yeah, he needs to fight Centipede pretty much, you know? Like, that's why he's that color, and that's weird. Really, it was fun, man. I mean, we tried to just push it as much as the schedule allowed. Was there any ideas you came up with where the animators were like, absolutely not? Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know, tell them, yeah, tell them about those, those raw ideas. <laughs> <laughs> the raw like, ideas. Yeah, morally, I can't get behind this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I can't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, they killed it, man. Canada came through, and uh, was Copernicus um, did an incredible job. They really did. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's durable. Yes, it's, it's good.